Good morning, beautiful people. So I'm back once again with another video for you. So, as promised, I'm going to be doing a review on one of the hotels that I'm currently staying at. It's called the Royal De Cameron Montego Beach, and it's a Colombian-owned property. They have two properties next to each other. They're sister properties. You stay at one, you get access to two. Cornwall Beach, the Cameron is the newer of the two properties. That's where I was trying to stay initially, but they were sold out, so I had to settle for the Royal De Cameron Montego Beach, which isn't too bad, actually. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of this resort right about now, if I can cross over the busy street without getting a run over. Alright, so this is a pretty, da pretty dangerous street to cross here. Alright, so we made it over safely. So this right here is a lovely sign that welcomes you to the hotel like when you get there. So I'm going to be going in on the inside of the property. I've got to get my mask on. It's still maintaining COVID protocols and we don't want to infuriate anyone so here we go we're make, making our way in going past security so the security personnel already knows who I am so he's not gonna even check me but the security is tight here so it's, it's very very safe hotel so once you make your way onto the hotel ground first thing that you're gonna run into is the gift shop so if you want souvenirs whether they they be last minute or once you get here you got a gift shop right here on hand and anything that you might have left amenities that you forgot to take with you on your trip then you can also get them there so it's a, it's a nice walkway up into the lobby the lobby area pretty spacious and eerie we got reception over there and they they tend to do a pretty good job it's a uh, hundred and forty four rooms they got four bars and this is the first of the four bars this is the lobby bar so if you're here and there's a big check-in group and you're waiting in line feel free to come over here and get some drinks of course it's all inclusive um, the price point it's probably the most economic in the entire island. Now here is a season area here. So the, the price point is gonna fluctuate between 200 and 300 a night, depending on the season. So it's very economical compared to the other hotels that are charging five, six, seven and upwards a night. I mean, even my former place of employment, Sandals, are now charging like $1,200 a night way out of my price budget all right so this is another seat in the area so, so there's plenty of spots where you know can help to put you in vacation mode and the beauty about this that this property has its own private beach actually it has like three different beaches three different sides i'm going to take you to them shortly so over here I'm not, I'm not gonna go in, but this is the buffet area. So as I said, it's all inclusive, so all you can eat. They're maintaining strict COVID protocols here. So somebody will be there to greet you, sanitize their hands, check your temperature, et cetera, et cetera. So far it's been smooth sailing. Now, one of the beauties about this property is that almost every single room is a beach or should I say an ocean front view you'll be you'll be very unlucky you'll be extremely unlucky to come here and not get an ocean front view room because it's just um single building single high-rise building it actually snakes around to the other side there and then there's the other side of the property that those rooms are also ocean front. There might be a two, there might be a couple that sneak around to the back, but for the most part, it's ocean front. And speaking of ocean, here we are. I mean, 
Imagine waking up to all of this. It's what I wake up to every morning. If you saw my earlier video, you might recognize the pier that I'm walking on. It's pretty cool. It's early right now. There's nobody around. Most people are having breakfast. Some are still in bed. The gentleman over there, he's raking the sand, cleaning it up, making sure it's nice and clean. And he says hi for you all. Yes, there he is. Wonderful guy. Make sure when you you come by you say hi to him as well very very friendly cool guy all right so over here this side of the beach if you're not into the beach and you're a pool person well hey they got something for you too there's a pool area right here we not only have a pool but we also have a pool bar this is the bar here. I think the bar opens up at 10.30. No one there right now. It's 8 a.m. And the pool is currently closed because they're treating it with chemicals and everything. And hopefully it should be open up, opening up later on in the day. But this is the pool right here. And actually, there's two pools. There's a smaller pool up top there. You see the gentleman in the orange shirt also cleaning it out. And this property, it's not very expansive. It's not big. I mean, I've seen like these mega hotels, the Ibero Stars, and the Reuse, etc. Their property is dwarf this property but but this property has a has a more welcoming atmosphere not to say that the other properties that I named don't but it just seems like there's so much going on that you can't really get that holiday vacation feel but this one makes you feel like you're on vacation now the knock that I have on this hotel it's an older property it's been here since the 70s I mean they've upgraded change a lot of things around but they still need to keep up with the changes that are going on it's clean and I mean it has all the am amenities of all the other hotels but they're probably gonna have to modernize it a bit which I spoke to one of the managers and they said that that's definitely in the works so we're headed up to my room so speaking of the modernization of the property, this is still the most economical. So if you are gonna frown upon the fact that the property is not as modern as other property, then you're gonna have to fork out the big bucks to stay at these other properties I mentioned, set you back from 500 a night upwards. So if you got that kind of bank, it's no problem. I don't. All right, so. Heading into. So this here is the room, folks. Of course. Checking out today. Got a lot going on. A lot going on. I got me my Jamaican jelly coconut here. I still haven't drank yet. I'm going to have to ask one of the bartenders to slice it open for me. Okay, so I'm going to try to get out of here. Trying to get out. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, this is the balcony here. And this is the view that I wake up to every morning. Check that out. Check it out. It's beautiful. I'm checking out later on today but this vacation is not over yet we got plenty more to see plenty more things to do so i'm gonna leave you guys at this point in the video i think you've got a great idea of what this property is like so if you cho choose to stay here 
you already know the facts, what you can live with, what you can live without. So I, I did forget one more thing. In addition to the buffet, they also have an a la carte restaurant as well. Um, I haven't tried it myself, so I really don't know what to say, but so far I haven't heard anybody complain, so it's probably pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to head on out of here. I'm going to hit the beach. I'm going to get some drinks in the system, and I'm going to get ready for my next adventure. See you soon.